The Bud RDC was a successful diesel multiple unit built by the company in the late 1940s. With a top speed of only 85 miles per hour, these cars were by no means fast, but they got the job done, transporting people around the country. You might be surprised to learn that one Bud RDC went a lot faster than this. In the 1960s, Japan announced the Shinkansen, which at the time was the fastest train in the world, which transported lots of people quickly and efficiently between the country's two largest cities. Not to be outdone, the United States wanted a high-speed train of its own, and the U.S. Department of Transportation was working with the Pennsylvania Railroad on a high-speed train to be run on the Northeast Corridor. But the Northeast Corridor was electrified, and at the time it was the only electrified mainline suitable for high-speed services in the United States. The New York Central Railroad lacked an electrified high-speed mainline to introduce its own high-speed services. The railroad looked into providing high-speed services on non-upgraded lines, and they would build a vehicle on their own to test this concept. The railroad would use a spare Bud RDC as the base for this test vehicle, with a General Electric J47-19 jet engine from an intercontinental bomber strapped to the roof and a makeshift streamlined nose, the RDC was made to go fast. The rail car would be named the M497 Black Beetle. The rail car was towed around the New York Central system and showed to crowds at various towns where it would do some low speed demonstration runs. The primary purpose from the New York Central's point of view was for marketing, to try and revive the railroad's dying passenger services. The plan was to make the Black Beetle the fastest train on earth. A stretch of track was chosen for this record attempt as it was straight and in relatively good condition for the time, but it was not designed or modified for extreme high speed operations. The railroad was collecting data on the vehicle as part of the research goals of the project. A top speed of 183.68 miles per hour was reached and this record still stands today. Ultimately. After this record attempt, the modified RDC was used for some more publicity, but the modifications were soon removed and the car went back into normal New York Central passenger service. The data collected from testing was also not used for much, as a setup like this would never be commercially viable, and the New York Central was also merging with the Pennsylvania Railroad, who as mentioned earlier, was already collaborating with the U.S. Department of Transportation on its own high-speed train. This leaves the Black Beetle remembered as little more than a marketing stunt albeit one that traveled at 180 miles per hour. Be sure to subscribe for more.